All right, from Isleta, Fun Connection, just south of Albuquerque, where we got the title match for today's JBT event, Super Survivor today. After the cut, the low score and then the whole field is eliminated, and the lowest two totals in the field are eliminated. Leads to nerve-wracking situations where the total pinball leaders are ahead, but anybody could go out at any time if they have the low game. Last two standing are Cortez Schenk and Zach Wojciechowski. Cortez up to plus 148, and Zach actually higher in pinfall at plus 167 through eight games of bowling. So this will be their ninth and final. It's just a head-to-head -head match. Pinfall doesn't matter right now. It's just a, your traditional title match. Tez looking for his 748 millionth title, while Zach won his fifth at Pohaki a couple months ago. To their right, we have the handicap division title match just getting started. Callista Fritz has dominated the field, but now it's just a one-game title match going up against pretty red hot guy himself and John Green. John has to beat Callista by 13 to tie, 14 to win. And right now it's Fritz though with the early lead on the scoreboard of 19 pins. Which she will maintain if she can spare that relatively simple two pin. They got a uh, Envoy machine here, so we bowled on, wow. So we bowled on a uh, new pattern, it's called Black Diamond. It's uh, just been programmed into Envoy, so you can check that out at home. And that squasher was good for a three-bagger for Wojciechowski, while Tez is without a double and open in the fifth. So Wojo here shooting all <clears throat> ready in the ninth frame has a really good shot to take this title away and Tez needs every point he can get because he is in an all-conference bowler of the year race for the first time in many many years as Harley has traveled a lot and started to test Tez. I shouldn't say started to, he is giving Tez all he can handle. This guy got offered some pizza and suddenly just blasted off and won the U17. That's all that. Pizza's for. life. I hear you, man. I'm with you. Finishing second to this guy, who I know wanted at least a little bit of camera time today. Yeah. So we will give him a little bit of camera time today. <laughs> Tez gets the strike he absolutely needs in the ninth. He can strike out for 206. He would still need Wojo to start kicking me in the knee and cussing and. Uh, Stuff like that is about his only opportunity. Tez goes El Lofto and gets no reaction O for the El Lofto. Oh well. Well, he'll take his second place points. Harley missed the cut today, so he'll make up quite a bit of progress, uh, room on him. He'll take the positives out of that. And he'll be back to try and continue his quest for 100 titles next time. Now the biggest problem here in this entire tournament left is her because after Zach is done finishing the 10th frame, he's got to go pick another egg. And this lady has been very unhappy with Zach's choice of gifts the from the egg. Where's the other gift? Oh yes. So Zach had a choice of some like high-end chocolates. What else do we have? Uh, a Rubik's Cube, a nice game, and Zach chose the ages five and below kids bowling set. <laughs> to which Zach said he's got to have something to do on the ride home. Of course. To which she said things which I cannot repeat on camera. And there we go. Well, Zach's going to finish off 228 with converting this five, and he's now a six time champ, having himself an excellent season as well. Tez's biggest problem is he gets another egg as well, and he might pick the bunny of death. I think the bunny of uh, the Walking Dead bunny might be going right home with you. Not me. He gets another egg. No, he does. He's up Oh, he avoided the egg. No, the score was to beat was two. Steve, we have to we lowered it to two a long time ago. <laughs> so he crushed the two. The why? I wish we had the Walking Dead bunny up here to get him some camera time. Yeah, very good. 228 to 172 is your final in the scratch division. The newly aerodynamic Zach Wojo. Hair, pretty good. No hair, pretty good. No hair, pretty good. Not bad. Callista had a few clunker JBTs earlier this season and has come out like a house of fire today. Going plus 340 for the nine games. Oh, okay. Say goodbye to that handicap, but that's all part of the game. 
She won a couple titles when she was about a foot shorter than this, too. And she's still clean through five, has the three, five, six to shoot at. Converts it nicely. Stays in the lead by 16 on the scoreboard and getting another 13 in the handicap department. So John Green's going to need some strikes and he's going to need to bowl them on the correct lane, which he's decided not to do. Oh, oh John. John. Oh, John. See that arrow? That arrow means that you should go over there. Yes. We got it this time. Last time we didn't. Get it. That's right. <laughs> John goes wherever he feels like going. That lane was closer. Let's go bowling. <laughs> oh, oh man! Pick it up, Bubba. And he airmails the messenger vertically in front of the five pin. My goodness. Here we go. Pick it up. Move on. He got a big thrill yesterday getting to bowl with Cortez in the mix it up format. That had to have been fun for him. And Cortez gave him a high praise as well. But Cortez will not give you high praise if you miss a five pin and then hit the gate. Come on. Next run. So he is in trouble. It was really the, the, the carrot that we were dangling in front of people is don't worry about Callista being plus 800 because you just got to get to this one game title game. And here it is, but it's uh, not going the way that Green planned it for sure. Over in the ladies, we got to get a little bit of camera time on Vanessa here. As this is her final regular season tournament. Pick it up. And here she is bowling for yet another girl scratch title in this finale for her. And she is clean with two doubles through the seventh frame, but her opponent is her nemesis this weekend. Lauren Armillo has had one heck of a weekend herself. Vanessa beat her for the handicap for the girls title yesterday after Lauren and her partner teamed to beat Vanessa and her partner in the main tournament finale. So these two have been going at it for about 48 hours. Pretty evenly matched. Oh, as Jaramillo blasts the messenger and slaps it out. My opinion is that it was the double pigtail that led to her success today. Yes. Do you confirm that? Yes. Did she have the double pigtail yesterday? I don't believe so, right? Yes. She was helpless yesterday. Second pigtail, boom. That's all it took. Amazing. And that balance arm and great follow through. Nicely done. She's uh, rapidly improving. Speaking of, Warren tilts that five over. So, Lauren in the 220s now. And uh, Romero in the two teams. So Vanessa's trailing by 12. Both ladies putting up fine games over there in girls' scratch. Calista doing the same in handicap. Here is Romero working on the double. Give her three in a row. Well, shoot, if they had bowled like that, they'd still be over here. In addition to the runner-up finish yesterday, Lauren just finished up in fourth in the main tournament today, so. That's off to Jaramillo. Daniel, safe travels. we we'll see you soon. Cross lane. Good form, good results, and John Luke needs to throw some X's. Just like Vanessa just did. Wow, we. One of the better girls scratch finales we've had in quite some time. Neither one wants to give any ground here. Catch John before Lauren goes. This pin's not going his way this game. Good shots leave nines. Frustrating as a bowler for sure. Armio in the ninth. It's good. Boy, first is a messenger, then she tilts the five, now she trips the four. And I got Simon Says on the way home. Now, now I think that is a wise choice. I think that's your first good Easter egg choice of the day. My mom actually wanted this one. Well, of course. <laughs> so it's for her. So she can do something while you're knocking plastic pins all over the car. Yeah. Hermio <laughs> can strike out for 258. Best. Oh, Romero can do is 256, and she won't need that much as Jaramillo rings a 10 in the 10th. Ouch. 
very important that not only, of course, Lauren spares this, but she gets a, a high count on the fill ball. It's seven to six on the count. Tough game for Green, but an excellent finish. He finished back-to-back -to -back top fives. Second and fifth on the weekend for that young man. That crashing sound is Lauren's back foot hitting the gate. There are gates that go up the sides of each lane here. You can see them really well in this shot. You just kind of got to put it out of your mind. It's really a non-issue. Especially today on a pretty oily pattern. And Fritz will cruise to title number three. Big, big, big fill ball here for Jaramillo. This will determine whether Vanessa needs one or two strikes. Or, yeah, one. And she gets what she needs. So that's 237. A brilliant game either way. Uh, Romero nine spares for 36, 66, 95, 15. So Vanessa is, once again, we've said this scenario over and over again this weekend, down to one shot. Vanessa has to strike on this ball. Anything less, Lauren wins. Here is her shot. Oh, you stubborn forepin. Ah. Oh. Hard to have either one of these two ladies not win this match as they were both spectacular, but it's going to be Jaramillo. And it is Fritz over there. Wow, 237 to 230 something. I say we give them both all the rest of the eggs. <laughs> Fill it up anyway. Oh man, 9-9 nine, nine in the tenth. What a great match between two very talented ladies there. Well, Callista, you now in addition to sweeping the day, can make a 5-10 to wrap up this exciting webcast here. We can miss them both and shoot the ugly 199. It's up to you. I'd prefer she makes it. Hey, make it. Ah. 200 scratch on the dot. She's done a lot of that today. And a big, big, big win for the dual tailed Fritz. Oh, and there's a roll, too. All the carry he couldn't get before, suddenly, once you relax, it's amazing how those pins respond. John is an entertaining kid to watch. There is no question about that. The two-handed delivery, uh, personality for miles. We're gonna see him around for a while. Well, got a trick shot in you for camera? Yeah. All right, what are you gonna do? He's not gonna tell me. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> If you got the spin on it, that would have been brilliant. Instead, they're like, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> that was the ending with a clunk. That was a trick car, right? I asked for a trick shot. I got a trick. Great stuff out of all of our finalists. We will do it in Kingman in just a couple days all over again.